to another edition of the UK Law Weekly Podcast with me, your host, Marcus Cleaver. This week, we're going to be looking at the case of Newbigin, a valuation officer, and SJ and J Monk. The citation for this case is 2017 UKSC 14. And this case looks at the rates charged by local authorities on property. So SJ and J Monk owned the first floor of an office building and decided to do some renovation work in order to attract some new tenants. For the purposes of the valuation, the relevant date was the 6th of January 2012, and at this point the property was stripped right down and had been undergoing substantial construction work. The central question was whether the property should be regarded as offices on that day, and therefore attract a rateable value of around £100,000, or instead be seen as a building undergoing reconstruction, and so have the rateable value reduced to one single pound. On the surface, this seems like an obvious question given the state of disrepair the building was in on this day, but the valuation officer did raise an interesting point. Under Schedule 6, Paragraph 21b of the Local Government Finance Act 1988, there is arguably a requirement that the valuation officer must assume that the property was in a reasonable state of repair as offices on that date. Furthermore, the definition of rateable value, according to that paragraph, is the rent the property could be let for on a year-to-year basis. This does assume that when the property is let it will be in a reasonable state of repair, although there is no exception that the owner will undertake any repairs that the reasonable landlord would view as uneconomic. When this case came before the Supreme Court, the justices began by examining something called the reality principle. This principle basically states that when it comes to valuing a property for rating purposes, it should be taken as it exists on that particular day, in other words the 6th of January 2012 in this instance. Even in spite of some of the wording in Schedule 6, this remains a fundamental principle in this area of law, and it should not be so quickly assumed that it is displaced by the assumption in paragraph 21b, that the property is in a reasonable state of repair, as whatever the property is presently rated as, i.e. in this case, offices. In other words, or to put it more simply, if the property is clearly undergoing reconstruction, then this should be the end of the matter and there is no need to consider the paragraph 21b assumption at all. Taking all of this into account, the Supreme Court came to the final decision that the offices were clearly undergoing reconstruction on the date of the 6th of January 2012 and so should be charged at the lesser rate as per the decision in the upper tribunal. Overall, I think that this case is hugely important within the context of the current British economy. Many offices and shops in towns and cities across the country continue to stand empty because of the taxes imposed by local authorities that make it very difficult to make a profit and be successful. In some ways, this is understandable because these authorities are increasingly responsible for a large range of local services. But this doesn't get away from the fact that businesses continue to be the lifeblood of any local economy and can attract new jobs, new residents and new developments over a long term. By attempting to squeeze businesses for every penny they are worth, local authorities serve to harm their own future prospects. This case is a prime example of this. Instead of allowing the offices to undergo construction at a nominal cost and attract new businesses to the building, the local authority instead tried to money grab by claiming a construction site was an office. By making this judgement, the Supreme Court has made a clear stand that authorities who try to find ways around the reality principle will be met with short shrift in the courts. Well, thank you very much for listening to this podcast episode, and as always, thanks to bensound.com who provide the music. If you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a rating and a review on iTunes, and also check out my YouTube account at youtube.com forward slash Marcus I look forward to speaking to you next week. Bye!